Dear CG Thinker, welcome in this new daily video about Fluent, Art Surface, Modeling and Blender. And yes, yes, if you follow this series since the start, uh, you will say, eh, Rudy, you forgot the video yesterday. And yes, <laughs> yes, in fact, I didn't have the time to record it. So today, today, two videos. And this is the first one of the day. It's about modeling and I suggest to you to make this model, uh, it's an inspiration from the Discord, from a user making. And I just simplified the model to make a quick video and, and nothing. Let's go. <laughs> I need a box. I will cre use create. Right click to display the grid. I will increase the resolution to 6. And I will make something like this. Adjust the height, okay. Add a first bevel like this and a second bevel like this, I think. Okay. Uh, just before I forget, in this uh, tutorial, my preferences is that I deactivate the addition the automatic addition of bevel after a cut. And my first cut, my first cut will be an inset operation. Right click on this face, use the rectangle, click, hold the shift key and make something like this. Mm, here, okay. Hold the left click and use the mirror. This is my first operation. The second operation is another inset, but on this face. Hold shift and make something like this. Okay. Now I will reuse a technique uh, uh, which I already shared with you is the technique in for what you cut the cutter. Press. I will select this object, which is used to make an inset. I press F, cut, and I will make another rectangle um, here. Hold Shift to draw from the center and cut your object like this. I will add an array just like this. Um, like this okay and I will add a mirror but by default the mirror use the the cut objects as reference for the mirror here I want to use the main object so I will just place the cursor on the object and press C on the keyboard to change the reference object for the mirror modifier and I add this mirror along X and Y axis. Right click to kit and hide the boolean object with F. Uh, show hide boolean object or with the shortcut that you can find in the preference of Fluent. Okay, one more cut in this object. One more cut and the horizontal cut. So press F cut, right click on it and just draw something like this. Okay, right click to kit. Nice. This is a base. It's okay. It's it start to be good. One more cut, finally. <laughs> okay, finally I will just add one more cut on these objects. You understand each one I make a cut. I, re, um, I add the boolean object, so I show the first object. One more cut, cut on this one, right click here, I use the rectangle. In this tutorial, we will use only the rectangle. Hold shift and make something like this, okay? I will just add a first bevel in this case. And this is the result. Okay, perfect. Now. We will make uh, something like I call uh, I called that a 
fake slice. Uh, I will show the wireframe of these objects. I will press F, cut, and I will cut these objects. Right click to display the, the grid and not here, a tips with Fluent. If you start to make a drawing and finally like that, it's not, I don't, I, I, I didn't start the drawing on the right place. I just reuse the air key to reset the drawing. Um, in fact, I will start here and make my cut like this and press V to cross the model and I will use the second solidify and I will press on C if you check the uh, the text on the screen you can see fake slice and in fact I will set the thickness of the second solidify very very tiny close to zero and you will have an effect like a slice I press C and right click to kit now to to see the effect of that, I will add a beaver. I just add the wireframe, F, and add a beaver. Reduce the size of the beaver, and you have these results. Nice, isn't it? Okay, don't forget the fake slice. What's the difference between a slice and a fake slice? A real slice will make two objects, two separate objects, Instead of uh, the fake slice, in this case, you keep only one object, okay? So, the, uh, the case is okay, I will just add an handle. I will, I keep my case selected, I press F and click on create. And I will create a rectangle just here, like this. Left click to validate the thickness. It's okay. I swap to edit mode and I will add two edge loop. Okay, control R to edge loop. Click to validate the number and right click to validate and center your edge loops. I will press S Y and move it like this. I want something like a square or not like this. Okay, add two other edge loop like this right click to validate on the center s y move it like this and now i will select this face at uh, the center and move it along the x axis g x like this okay and start to see the handle it's a fluent object. I add new vertices, so I need to select the new uh, vertices and press F3 VG cleaner like this. And I have my objects. I will add a first bevel like this. Right click to kit and add a bevel on the object. In this case, I think I will reduce it a little bit like this it's okay nice and because um, I want to be able to to open the case I will make a slice uh, a fake slice uh, on this uh, handle press F cut right click on the face so in this case as you can see the grid isn't uh, is too small to cover all the object so I will just click on square distribution to be able to use the scale option and make something like this. I cut my handle and call the second solidify and press C to make a fake slice. This is the result. And the last operation for this tutorial is to uh, change a little bit here. I will select, I select the face and press S Z and move it like this to make a better result. I just noticed I forgot something. Uh, did you notice what I forgot in this model? In fact, I forgot to mirror this operation for this side. So 
it's all the good thing with a non-destructive workflow. I will select these objects. I will press F, edit, and I will add a mirror. And one more time, I will use this object like um, as a reference. So press C with the cursor on it and add the mirror. And now <laughs> the model is complete. And uh, yes, this time it's okay. And you have a very simple case with only, only rectangle cuts uh, to make this object. I hope you will like and make this uh, case. Try it and it's the weekend. Maybe you have more time. Don't hesitate to texture this model and share it uh, on the Discord. It's a real pleasure for me to see your creation. And now I need to stop this video and I will record the next. See you next time. Bye. Digital. Road together.